Hey, can you hear me well? Yeah. Okay, great. So, thank you very much, first of all, to give me the opportunity to speak today. Thanks to Blackberry MS. It's a great venue in, in uh, Miami Beach, and I'd really love to be here today. So, um, today I would like to speak a little bit about Latin America, about mobile, and about social media. And towards the end, we will try to sort of tie this together and what it means for the region. Um, so I, I'll be talking, I don't know, who of you knows Comscore? Just, you know, to get a sense yeah. of... Yeah. Not so many. Or maybe you're not, like, putting out... Okay, great. So I'll speak, just for those who don't know Comscore, I'll just speak a little bit about that. Uh, so we basically, we are an um, internet uh, technology company, and uh, we provide analytics for the digital world. What does that mean? How we do that? We do that through, through a proprietary panel that looks at the behavior of people online through different devices. And all the devices pretty much out there, and they're becoming more and more, and who, know, who knows what else is coming up. Um, we look at online advertising, video, search, uh, demographics, e-commerce, and we, we, we tie all this big data together to make sense of, of it all. And as a matter of fact, we have also a census network, a Comscore census network, that registers about 1.5 trillion digital interactions per month. It's an incredible amount of data. And we, we tie this all together, helping clients to, uh, to steer their investments and you know, to get more ROI. So, enough about Comscore. <laughs> Let's talk about Latin America and online behavior. So we see Latin America that is relatively a small uh, group. If we look at you know the total number of impressions or total or unique visitors in worldwide, you know accounts for about eight percent of what's going on in the world. Nevertheless, uh, despite this figure being relatively slow, it's growing, and more importantly, we see that the Latin Americans are actually pretty engaged. They spend a lot of time online. For those that are actually online, they they spend a lot of time there. And uh, more importantly is if we look at some of the countries, particularly Brazil, Brazil is a, is, is a very big region, it, it's a number seven on the, the, um, the, uh, the number of unique visitors, accounting for 45 million unique visitors, which is, uh, which, is, which is quite impressive. I believe that Mexico is on the 14th or 15th place. Okay, so these are countries that are definitely, definitely growing in terms of adoption online. So now we, that, that was giving you a little bit of a worldwide perspective of how Latin America is doing. Now we look at, more specifically, we zoom in on Latin America. We see that Brazil is definitely by far the, you know, the leader of the pack accounts for 35% of the more than 130 million unique visitors in the region, and Mexico is about 18% of that, you know, it's, and all, all these are growing. Obviously, the other countries are still sort of, you know, lagging behind, but they will, they, they will grow, never catch up on Brazil. But now, what is so interesting about, about this is actually that, and that brings me to my next slide, is, how much time people spend online. I mean, it's really significantly higher than the Latin America in Brazil and Argentina, significantly higher than the average in the region. And obviously, you know, the next question would be, like, who's, who's spending that much time? Who is doing what? And our research shows, there's a lot of data, data on this slide, but you know, the key takeaway here is to that 60% of, uh, of people younger, no, sorry, uh, people younger than 35 spend over 16% of their time online, which is really, really high. We're seeing this, this slide differ from other regions that we research. So now we've, we've, seen, we've seen that Brazilians are very engaged. Uh, they, they spend a lot of time above the average. Uh, they, they've come, the, the market really is relatively slow, but it's, sorry, small, but it's growing. 
And now I want to talk a little bit about social media. I put this slide up here because I thought it was fabulous, you know, to see like oh, we, okay. what we used to do. I don't know if anybody has seen this before, but I love this one. And you know, what we used to do on a desk, we're actually doing it right now, you know, through, through technology. I love the Twitter. So let's talk a little bit about social media. Why is social media so important in the region? This brings me automatically into this slide. I mean, this is like, Brazil is off the charts. What this says is that they spend on social media in Brazil about 10 hours per month. The total numbers of hours spent was 27. So basically for, for every three hours that you spend online, you spend an hour engaging in some sort of social media, which is really high and is the highest of any sort of, you know, consumption category, and uh, more importantly, it's, it brings me to the next slide. It's way higher than the worldwide average, and way also higher than, than Latin America. So basically, Brazilians are spending two hours more on social media per month than any, uh, anyone else in the world average. You know, it tells you mainly they like to communicate and they like to connect. I think this is really important to understand, and we see a lot of uptake there and a lot of, of a lot of opportunities because it's it's been absolutely phenomenal how quickly it has grown. So we're also looking at uh, what is it that is driving this, uh, what is responsible for this tremendous growth in social media uptake and behavior. And this slide speaks for itself. Look, and pretty much everybody's on Facebook. Facebook has been the major driver of that social media activity. It may not, it may not be surprising, but I, I, when I saw the slide, I was like, wow, like everybody's on Facebook and there is absolutely no competition. I'm sure that for those in the region, you know, there has been a lot of communication from Facebook saying how successful they have been in, the, in, in Brazil in particular. So I believe it's important to, to look at, you know, what are the obviously the obvious things of sharing, putting pictures, but there's another thing that's very important that people do, in, particularly in Brazil on Facebook, and that is watching videos. They, they, uh, the, it has grown in the region, I fully except from Mexico, where video consumption has gone down a little bit. But in other countries, like double digit figures, and they watch a lot of video. And you know, you would, you would think, what are they watching video? And this slide shows that they're watching video on Facebook. A lot of the sharing takes place on Facebook. So again, they like to share, they like to communicate, they like to stay connected. We also have some data uh, for, for Argentina. You know, not as staggering numbers as Brazil, but still, you know, double-digit growth for some of the of the properties there. For Chile, uh, Terra is doing really well. Facebook is, you know, it's, it's, it's growing, but not definitely not at the 400% rate that we saw before in Brazil. And also Mexico, Facebook leader of the pack. So this is, this is where people are consuming video content that has been grown so much. So we see that very much as an opportunity for, for, for mobile, because now with the, the, with the advanced technology of mobile phones, people love watching video. They watch it everywhere, and particularly through social media. So these are a few takeaways I want to give you already. So, <clears throat> So now I would like to look, sorry, I'm going back, to look at mobile behavior. So we, we talked a little bit about online behavior now, social media. Now I'm going to touch on a few points on what we're seeing in the most advanced market right now in the United States in terms, of, in terms of mobile behavior, what people do and how they use their mobile phones. This is, this is going to help us understand what is the human nature of using a mobile phone. And then it pretty much goes across regions. And so we can expect similar type of behaviors coming up in the Latin American region as well. 
So now in the US we have about 42 million uh, uh, tablets. 28% uh, of people that actually have a mobile phone have a tablet as well. So we're becoming really uh, a multi-platform society. We have a computer, we have a mobile phone, a smartphone usually, we have a, a tablet. We probably have a game console as well. You know, it's becoming, and we're consuming all this content all over different devices. So what does this mean? And what does this mean for what people do on them? So this shows us that about 13% of traffic is being generated through other than a computer, than a PC. Okay? So basically we see that tablets have been, you know, in the last year has exploded. It's like 180% growth. And mobile is still going very strong, and obviously at the expense of, you know, our computers. Because, you know, the mobiles and tablets have taken such a predominant place in our life, we can bring them everywhere, take them everywhere. So whenever we really don't need to open up the computer, we won't. We just will consume content on our other devices. This also shows that in the last 12 months, the, the, the content consumed has doubled. <coughs> On other than PC, so really this is and this is going to keep on growing because really ultimately, the, you know, the, the, it's still relatively low in terms of in terms of 13% uh, of the media. It's still relatively low. We expect that to keep on growing. So now this is this is great, but then it's like, okay, how does that you know compare to what I'm doing? How much time I'm spending on them? Because that's very important to see how to understand the behavior on a mobile phone. So here in the US at least, you know, we're starting to spend 40% of our time on a mobile device. So uh, this is this is so basically, you know, almost half of the time we that we spend interacting with some kind of device, it will be a mobile device of some sort. And how do we do that? This is a very interesting slide because you know, we're only continuously connected. This is basically a typical working day. Okay? We're continuously connected. We wake up with a mobile phone, we check our, we check our you know, emails in the morning, and then as you know, the day we start the day, we slightly move to the, to the computer because obviously we end up being at work and we interact with our computer, we check our mail there. And as we grow into the evening, we apparently put the mobile phone aside, just, you know, we'll take it to bed, of course. You know, that's what a lot of people do. They sleep with a mobile phone under their pillow. But, you know, the tablet is obviously the preferred way of consumption at night when it's leisure time and you want to consume content on your tablet. You just want to scroll, perhaps. You're even looking, you know, watching your favorite TV show. So what, how, what, what is important to start? Again, a lot of data, we, at the end of the day, we are a data company, so <laughs> we will present a lot of data. I hope you can appreciate that. Um, we've seen that in uh, the uptake of smartphones year, year has been 29%. Uh, what is important, what is significant, is that at least in December, 72% of those phones acquired were smartphones. So you see that smartphones are gaining traction and pushing steadily any other kind of phones, whether they're yeah. feature phones or other phones that are pushing out. Obviously, because there is so much possible with it, then it's, it's, it. <clears throat> so what are we doing on those phones? And I think this brings us back to the, to social media. What are we doing with these devices? Well, <coughs> As you can see, we like to connect. That's, you know, the, the biggest growth category is social web networking and messaging. So obviously this is important because it ties back to, if we remember before, how connected and socially connected the Latin Americans are. And what happens here is that, you know, what we want to do the most, just as a human nature, is connecting and communicating. 
So we see great opportunity there. Here is some more data. So yeah, everybody, you know, look at the differences because obviously you have differences between tablets and with mobile phones and the kind of activity you do on them. And you see that accessing social network, very popular on small mobile phones, on smartphones, same thing on tablets. And this is what people actually... Uh, allow me one second, I need to just take a sip of water. By the way, I see people taking pictures and uh, all the slides. They will be through the microsite, they will be circulated. Okay? So, you don't need to fill up your memory card with pictures. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, if we're looking at specifically how content is being consumed, uh, and uh, we can see that a lot of it, yes, so sorry, time spent by access method, we see that for social media, for services, entertainment, gaming, apps are really the center of the activity. So there will be a bigger, stronger focus on applications. Whereas, you know, going into the browsers. So now we've seen, just a, a small recap, we've looked at uh, online behavior in Latin America, we've looked a little bit at mobile behavior in the United States because it's very advanced. We've looked at social media, social media behavior in Latin America, now we're going to touch briefly on some of the data that we have on devices in Latin America. <clears throat> so, what, what this slide shows us, again, a lot of data, and it's a very, it's a, I find it a majorly important slide, and I, I, wish, I wish I could, like, challenge some of you to tell me why. So, we see this is March 2012, going into February 2013, and the difference on how much traffic has been generated by other than a PC device. Now, you can see that the growth number are pretty high. I mean, it's three times as much uh, for mobile, okay? The, you know, obviously the number is still relatively low because it's 6% of the total traffic is now, what you would say, significant, but the growth rate is really, really high, 200, 300%. And more importantly, if we, look, we just looked at the mobiles of the uh, usage of uh, consumption of content in the United States, and we saw that 13% of the, the, the page views are being generated by other than a PC, so tablet and, um, and a mobile smart, or a smartphone. Look at Mexico. Mexico is at 12%. So this tells me that Mexico is actually really advanced and there is opportunities there are almost at US levels. So this is the sh of this, you know, of this six percent, twelve percent. We look at what is the share of uh, traffic that comes from a mobile phone or a tablet. So we see that the, we see that you know, this is 2013 and 2012 March. We see that most of the growth in some media consumption and consumption in general is still being fueled by mobile phones. Okay, because this is obviously a percentage, so it's kind of they're all growing, it's just that mobile phones are growing faster than tablets. This is, I think, the most important take of the slide. Again, a lot of, a lot of data, but you can, you know, once the slide will be circulated, you can have a look at that. All right. <laughs> so, a few takeaways here. Um, we saw, we saw a very high consumption and engagement with social media, video in Latin America, and they're all significantly above average. What else have we seen? We've seen that 
social media consumers increasingly use mobile devices. That's they like to call with Southern earlier. We they like to communicate and they like to connect. Now, uh, the consumer is becoming an, a, a multi-platform omnivore. They consume everything at any touch point, at any point of day. Now, we also looked at the nature of content, what we consume, in, what people consume in Latin America, and what is being consumed on mobile devices in the US. This is clearly an opportunity for companies and advertisers that are active on mobile platforms. And social media communication is very much driving on that. Now, as we also, you know, we've seen like the devices account for more than 30% of non app web traffic, and 30% of the time is being spent online in the, in the, U, in the US. So, the Latin devices usage is growing quickly, and smartphone penetration has, appears to be really driving mobile internet consumption. So, altogether, we looked again at I, we believe that there is a very strong opportunity in the market, particularly looking at social media, communication, and the uptake of, uh, of mobile phones there. There is obviously also an element that has you know, other drivers in the market or detractors in the market that may be related to accessibility of the devices, prices, and so on. But generally speaking, we're seeing this trend. Well, this was my presentation. Thank you very much. And uh, I still have a couple of minutes, just, uh, but maybe we'll do that. We'll take questions in the, uh, in the panel, correct? Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it.